Hello, my name is A.A. Nick Fan. It took me many years to find out about the year, month, day date format. I am now convinced that it's the best. It's the only one I use. But I am in the minority. A lot of people use the day, month, year format and the month, day, year format. The argument for the month, day, year format is that you speak it that way. January 9th, 2013. And also, it sorts... you can make the argument that it sorts slightly better than the day, month, year format. Because it will sort the dates... it will, it will cluster them after the month instead of the day, month, year format, which will group them together based on the day. So all of the 10th, 10th of whatever month will be sorted together in the day, month, year format, but all of the June dates will be sorted together in the month, day, year format, and all of the July dates together, etc. The argument for the day, month, year format is that you speak it that way. The 9th of September 2014. In the Swedish language, for example. You say it like that. But in this video I am going to give three reasons as to why I use the year-month-day format. Number one, it's good for sorting. The year-month-day format is structured from biggest to smallest. The year, which it starts with, is the biggest and then the month is smaller than the year, and then the day is smaller than the month. Biggest to smallest. This means that the computer will sort it perfectly from oldest to newest, or from newest to oldest if you invert it. Number two, it makes more sense to me. When I look at a day-month-year format, or a month-day-year format, I really have to think about it in multiple steps, like Okay, so the 9th of... which month is that? Okay, so that's August, and then inside of which year? Okay, so that's 2013. So, okay, 2013, and then... wait a minute, where is August in 2013? Okay, so that's there, and then... wait, so was it the 9th? So that's not too far into August. But when I look at a year-month-day format, it's, to me, in a much more natural order. Like, okay, so we have all these years, and which year is it? Okay, so 2011. So this year. And now we're going inside 2011. So which month? Out of all these months. Okay, so December. And inside of December, which day? Okay, the 23rd. I see. It just comes to me very naturally. It's like you're zooming in to the year and then to the month. Maybe it has to do with the way I picture years and months in my mind. Maybe you picture them differently. Number three, it removes all ambiguity. Look at this date. Which day is that? January 2nd or February the 1st? The year-month-day format removes all ambiguity by having the four digits at the start. So you can definitely tell that it's the year, month, day format, and then you can figure the rest out from there. 